friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Welcome to a what I eat in a week points versus calories. We are doing things a little bit different in this video. I am strictly counting points and at the end of the day, I will add up all of my calories to see if I can stay within my WW points and hit my caloric target every single day. So I am on the blue plan. My points are 32 points in a day and my calorie goal is between 1800 and 2000 calories per day. I also have a protein goal of a minimum of 130 to 170 grams of protein every single day. So I'm going to be sharing with you the points of all of my meals and snacks. And at the end of the day, I'll share my total calories, protein, and points, and we can see how it all lines up. So if you're excited for another What I Eat in a Week, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And of course, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you. Hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Chances are this is going to be a long video, but I'm gonna share all my food and a little day in the life as well just to make it fun. Some exciting things happened this last week, so you're going to see all of it. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for the 2021 custom calendar where you can track self-care, your weight, your food, and even your water. It's not too late to get your hands on one of those. You'll also, of course, find nutrition coaching. I get a lot of questions on how many calories should I eat? How much protein should I eat? How do you know how many calories? I can do your macros and calories for you, personalized to you. So that service is on my nutrition coaching website along with 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions so we can deep dive a little more into you personally. So definitely check that out. I'll link everything I shared with you in this week. I'll share all the products that I shared throughout the week with you and my favorite things down in the description box as well. And most, and definitely check out my Facebook group, which is also linked down there. We'd love to have you join. So let's get started on our what I eat in a week points versus calories. Good morning guys, happy Monday. You saw that I put together my breakfast. I'm actually having my breakfast bomb from my meal prep. I'm excited for this. And then I just went ahead and did some blueberries. The bomb is six smart points and I've started on my first jug of water. But I wanted to hop on really quick and wish you guys a happy start to this what I eat in a week points versus calories. So like I mentioned, I'm actually going to be tracking points only for this video. But at the end of the day, I will share with you my overall points for the day as well as my calories. That way we can see how close I'm coming to my caloric goal by just tracking points. I'm gonna take you guys with me this week. We're gonna do lots of fun stuff together. Mmm, good. And we're gonna spend the week together, see where it takes us. As soon as I'm done with breakfast here, I actually have a coaching call here at eight. It's about 7.35 in the morning right now. So I'm gonna finish my breakfast, hop on my coaching call, and I'll catch up with you guys when I have a snack. Water update for the day. It is currently 9.15. I am already at the 1 p.m. mark on my gallon jug, but I just filled this water up. So my goal is to have this water drink by 10 a.m. As you guys know, I have a goal of drinking a gallon of water every day. So I'll kind of keep you guys updated, let you know each day when I finish my gallon, and I will link this gallon water bottle down below for you guys. I just bought it off of Amazon. So here's to the second cup of water today. It's morning snack time. I'm keeping it simple. It's about 10.15. I'm swamped with work today, so I'm gonna have a quick, easy snack before lunchtime. Of course, no surprise to anyone, 
the kombucha. As you guys know, I count this bottle as one point. It actually works out to be about three points per the WW app, but it is literally 50 to 60 calories. So I just count it as one smart point. And then I'm going to have the two good yogurt in coconut, and I'm going to top it with one tablespoon of this purely Elizabeth blueberry hemp granola. I love this granola. I love the dried blueberries in there. It has nice clean ingredients. I picked this up at Target. So it is one point for one tablespoon, two points for the yogurt, and one point for the kombucha. So this is my four smart point morning snack. It is lunchtime, it's 12.30. So I'm going to have my meal prep from Monday. This is my cheesy chicken orzo. You guys, this is incredible. It tastes like Alfredo. It's that delicious. And this entire bowl is only four smart points. On the blue plan, the plan that I'm on, all of the other points as well as the recipe are on my recipe website. I'll put that here on the screen and it is down in the description box as well. And then this is also from my meal prep. This is the Hungry Girl Tropical Dump Cake. I'm having a little less than a full serving so it's only four smart points. It is in incredible it tastes like tropical vacation it's sweet it's fruity it's super good so my entire lunch is going to be eight smart points total i'm working on almost the last of my water here in a little bit we're going to head out to do our final walkthrough so we'll bring a snack and i'll be back to show you guys what i'm having 1 50 p.m and my water for the day is done. This is my last glass. I'll definitely get that drink. I am gonna to have to leave about three o'clock or so again for that final walkthrough. So I'll see you guys then. All right, I'm off for my final walkthrough. I'm currently at McDonald's uploading Wednesdays what I eat in a day. You guys saw my snacks. I've been sipping on my Ouroboros water. Love that water so much. I do buy it off of the Thrive Market. As always, Thrive is linked down below. And right now they're doing 25% off of your first order and a free gift. So it's actually a great time to join Thrive. So that is down below for you guys. And then I am almost out of my Alani new bars. I think I have two left. So as soon as those are gone, you guys know I won't be purchasing. They do bother my stomach if I eat them too often, but it's been a long while since I had one. So I'm on the road. I grabbed it. It's five smart points. My water is zero. I'm wearing my cute little sweatshirt from Costco. And then I know I'll get some questions on my jewelry. So I have this cute locket. This is actually an open heart locket. You can open it up. You can put a picture in it or just wear it as a locket. This is from Skull Jewelry, the same company that my earrings are from. And I showed you guys these in a previous video as well about Skull Jewelry. They have just really cute stuff. So I did get this locket necklace. I'm a sucker for hearts. I think it's dainty. It's pretty. And really, honestly, it goes with just about everything. So I'll link Skull Jewelry down below with this locket. And then these really cute earrings. They're just skull on a rose gold hoop super cute so I will link everything down below for you guys if you're interested in skull and they should have a promotion going on so I'll link that too so off we go to the final walkthrough my clients close on Wednesday their first time home buyers they're so excited so let's hit the road come the first time home buyers now. Here is my dinner for tonight. I'm just having leftovers since I just got home from that final walkthrough. This is the Tuscan pasta that I made in last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. It is on my website. My website is down below. It is four smart points for this entire bowl of pasta. It's delicious. And then I'm having a cranberry raspberry spindrift sparkling water. So my dinner is four smart points. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Coffee is in hand. I actually am having the same coffee as I had yesterday. I thought that while I get ready this morning, Tuesday's my filming day, that I would show you guys what I do for my morning skincare routine. The first thing I do is use one of the Kirkland 
makeup wipes and I just wipe my face off from the night before. I do have a nighttime skincare routine as well, but as we sleep our face gets dirty and I do like to also wipe off any product from the night before. It just really helps to have a nice clean fresh face the next morning. Once my skin is dry, I've been using the Beauty Counter Vitamin C Serum. This stuff is a game changer. So many of you have been complimenting on my skin saying just how glowy and dewy my skin looks and how nice and even my skin tone is. Beauty Counter is the reason why. I use a lot of their care facial products, which you will see also in my nighttime routine, but I always use the Vitamin C Serum in the morning, so I just just a tiny amount on my palm and I just rub it over my entire face nice and gently you don't want to pull or tug at your face so just do it nice and gentle and then I've been using the Boshia daytime eye brightening cream this stuff is amazing it has really helped these dark circles under my eyes it's funny because in this lighting it looks like they're so much darker but honestly in reality the dark circles are pretty faint under my eyes when they used to be really really dark so I'll go in with some of that just kind of have that down. I will link everything I use down below for you guys. And lastly, I've been using this Cure Day Brightening Cream. This stuff smells so good. It's very citrusy. So I put just a very small amount. I mean, a tiny, tiny bit on my palm. And again, just gently massage that into my skin. And that is my daytime routine. And I'm ready for the day. I am going to have my breakfast. This is a repeat from yesterday. My breakfast bomb that I made in meal prep some blueberries and I am on water number one for the day. So I'm actually going to eat my breakfast and then I am working all day. I have several videos to film. Tuesday's always a filming day for me and then I'll be back to show you guys a snack for this morning and then we are going to jazzercise tonight. So of course I'll take you guys along with me there as well. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. These breakfast bombs, highly, highly recommend. They're absolutely delicious and nice and filling. I'm gonna go ahead and take my probiotic. I shared this test, this gut health test with you guys in last week's What I Eat in a Day. Game changer. If you are curious or been curious about your gut health and whether it's in check and the best gut health that you can have to lose weight, highly recommend the Thrive Gut Health Test. So I took the test, I shared that in that video. I will link that What I Eat in a Day down below for you guys so that you can learn more about Thrive. They sent me a discount for you guys, which is amazing. So I'll link all of that down below in the description box of this video. But once I did my test and I was able to establish my gut health, they sent me a personalized probiotic, which I mentioned I've been taking now for quite a while. You guys, it's amazing. Everything they said this probiotic would do, it does. So I love it. I'm gonna take mine for the day. You're supposed to take it post meal and I just had breakfast. So that is my probiotic for the day. Uh, again, I'll link Thrive down below. I can't believe the difference this has made in my body and in my gut health. Morning snack time. I am busy filming away, so I have to make this quick and simple so as always i'm having kombucha like i mentioned yesterday i count this bottle as one point and then i'm going to have the strawberry built bar i love the strawberry one it's so good it's only three smart points which is great because it gives me a ton of protein keeps me full and satisfied so between the kombucha and the built bar this is a four smart point snack i will link built bar down below for you guys with 10 percent off in free shipping and it's a permanent code you can use it over and over every time you order so i'll link that down below. I'm excited for this. Back to filming. Lunch today is on repeat from yesterday. This is what happens when you meal prep. Number one, it makes life really easy. I already know what I'm going to eat every day. So I'm going to have my chicken cheesy orzo. This stuff is amazing. It is only five points for this entire bowl. And then I decided to have four points again worth of my dump cake also that I made in meal prep. This is such a great lunch. It's very, very, very filling. So I'll have an afternoon snack before we go work out tonight. And then I just filled up my second big cup of water for the day. So here's lunch. It is 3.15. I have 15 minutes before I need to head out the door. We've got to go mail some calendars at the post office and a giveaway from my New Year's challenge group. 
but I'm hungry and I need something for sure before I go work out. So what I have here is three points worth of the Good Culture Low Fat Cottage Cheese. That's going to give me a good dose of protein before my workout. I filled up my big water bottle and then I'm going to take with me my pre-workout. You guys know I love the My Adventure to Fit pre-workout. This is the pineapple banana flavor. So I'll take this right before the start of my workout. I generally just dry scoop it. So I'll take the container and my water and this water should be enough for the pre-workout and to get me through my workout. So let me scarf down this cottage cheese and we'll hit the road. Mommy's going to Jazzercise guys. Yeah, we're gonna go to the post office and then we're gonna go to Jazzercise. So let's get a treat before we head out the door, shall we? We're at the post office. I'm gonna hop in real quick, check my PO box to make sure none of the calendars I sent out were returned because a few people have reached out saying they haven't gotten theirs. If that is you, hang tight, they're coming. The post office is super backed up. And then I've gotta mail a few more calendars and that giveaway. And I am here, so let's go get our workout on. Before I go in, I just have to share how beautiful the sunset is tonight. And I also wanted to show you guys, look what is right next door to Jazzercise. Let's get a little closer, Domino's. And it smells amazing out here. Jazzercise is complete. I'm hot, sweaty mess. I still need to go home and eat dinner. Oh, I'm losing my light. There we go. I need to go home and eat dinner still at 6.30. Whew, that was a great class. It was a low impact class, but she's got some killer, killer songs in that class that just make you exhausted. So let's head home, have some dinner. I need a shower. I'm tired. Let's do it. Here's my dinner. It is almost seven o'clock, so I'm keeping it simple tonight. I'm having this entire jar of this Reyes Italian wedding soup with meatballs. This soup, I tasted it, is really, really delicious. It is 160 calories per serving or 290 calories for the jar. The entire jar is eight smart points. I'm going to go ahead and have the entire jar. So that's going to be everything for me today, along with some Ora Bora water. This is the lemongrass and coconut. Again, you can pick this up off of Thrive. Thrive is linked down in the description box. So this is my eight smart point dinner. just warmed up my breakfast same breakfast I've been eating all week the breakfast bombs and some blueberries and I just filled up my water but I thought I'd hop on real quick and say hello before I have my breakfast I know I'm going to get questions on my necklace I showed this in a what I eat in a day a little while ago from Sylviax jewelry these are personalized so I showed the pendant with my name Troy's name Diesel and Lola's name and then I showed this one as well and I love this one you can see that this open heart is adjustable up and down and then this actually has my j initial on it so i love this necklace if you're interested i'll link it down below the company that i got this from but i love it and i just love personalized jewelry it's kind of fun to wear jewelry that's personalized to you i have not put earrings on for today I don't know exactly what today is going to look like. I actually have a couple coaching calls today and there's a video I've been wanting to do at Costco and Troy is actually currently at the doctor getting an ultrasound. He's having some more issues with his legs. So once he gets home, since he'll be home, I may go film the video I wanted to film at Costco today. So I don't know what today's gonna look like. I don't know where it's gonna take us, but I'll definitely take you guys along with me. I'm going to work on my gallon of water have my breakfast, do my coaching calls, and I'll see you guys a little bit later this morning, most likely at morning snack. And don't forget, I'll link my necklace and this website with all the personalized jewelry down below for you. Morning snack time, I'm having, of course, kombucha. The bottle, I again, count as one smart point. And then I'm having some cottage cheese. I have four points worth of the Good Culture whole milk cottage cheese. And then I just topped it with one of these Del Monte no sugar added 
pears. This is one of my favorite little sweet snacks. You're getting a good dose of protein, but you also get that sweetness of the fruit. So this is going to be a five smart point morning snack. Got a little happy mail today. Thank you to Enlighten for sending over this ice cream to try. It's been a minute since I've had Enlightened in the pint. I love the bars, but I also love the pint. They have some new flavors. So they sent me over four different flavors, some new, some not, but they did send me two of the chocolate chip cookie dough 100 calorie per serving pint. They also sent me the caramel fudge pretzel, which I believe is a new flavor in the light version, 400 calories for the entire pint or 100 calories per serving. And then the brownie and cookie dough, which is one of my very favorites for 100 calories per serving. And then cookies and cream, which I've never had. I don't know if it's new. Let me know down in the comments if it is, but it's 90 calories per serving. So now I have some sweet, healthy, WW friendly treats on hand. So thank you so much Enlightened for sending over these eight pints of ice cream. Some more happy mail came from Beauty Counter. I literally today squeezed out the very last of my vitamin C serum. You guys always ask how I got my skin looking this good and I swear it is this vitamin C serum from Beauty Counter. I use this every single morning, so it could not have come at a better time because I literally today squeezed out the last little bit. And this is a product that I ordered just kind of on a whim and I have been loving. This is the Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer. So for days that I don't wanna put a full face of makeup on, or maybe I don't even wanna wear foundation, this is a tinted moisturizer. So it is your moisturizer and foundation in one. I love this. It makes your skin all dewy and glowy and it looks just as good as if you put on a full face of makeup. So I ordered a second one, that's how much I love it. And then this is about my fifth vitamin C serum. I will link these two products down below as well as the Beauty Counter site. So you can go peek around. I love all their skincare. Head on over, check out Beauty Counter, and then also check out Enlightened. Here's today's lunch. I'm taking a break from my meal prep and I went to Costco to film a video today and picked up some romaine. I got to use my brand new, it's drying, salad spinner that I ordered off of Amazon to dry the salad really well. I'll link this salad spinner down below for you guys. Love it. So I went ahead and chopped up the romaine, dried it in the salad spinner and made a taco salad. So I have quite a bit of romaine. I have four points worth of ground beef, one point worth of queso, one point worth of tortilla chips. So my taco salad is only six smart points. This is the queso that I use. I used a couple tablespoons of that, warmed it up and melted it and drizzled it over the top. One point worth of the Siete lime tortilla chips. And then I topped it with just a tiny bit of the Simple Truth organic mild salsa. So this is my lunch for six smart points. It is about 1.10. I'm about to get on a coaching call for today. I'm really wanting something sweet. So I'm gonna have a pack of the Smart Sweets Sweet Fish. This is one of my very favorites. Three grams of sugar, three smart points for the entire package. It's a great Swedish fish dupe. I'll open it up, show you guys how many comes in the package for three points. You get a lot. There's this whole pile here that came in the pack. And again, it's only three smart points. So I do have 10% off with Smart Sweets. I'll link it down in the description box for you guys. That way you can get your hands on all the different flavors and it ends up being less expensive than if you buy them by the package at the store. So that's always a win. So this is going to be a little sweet treat before my coaching call. I am working away. It's about 3.40. I'm a little hungry, so I'm just gonna have one of these Cheez-It Valentine's Day packs for 50 calories, two smart points. This will tie me over until I can make some dinner. Here is my dinner for tonight. I ended up making this cheesy turkey meatball skillet. I use 99% lean ground beef. This is a really, really low point recipe. The only thing on the blue pan for me that has points is the cheese. It is four smart points per serving on the blue pan and the pan makes six servings. And then I just paired it with a little bit of corn. So this is my four smart point dinner. This is what I'm going to have for dessert tonight. This is three points worth of the Lily's white chocolate chips. That way I can munch on these while I watch The Bachelor. Okay, I'll do the spinach and feta wrap. Do you need any avocado or sriracha with it? No, thank you. And then can I also have a grande of the honey almond milk with the okay. nitro? The nitro one? Yes, please. Okay. Perfect. 
Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. 969, come on up. Thank you. Good morning, happy Thursday. You saw that I went ahead and hit up Starbucks for a honey nitro cold brew. This is one smart point. My favorite breakfast from Starbucks is actually the feta wrap. It is seven smart points, so it's one point more than that reduced fat turkey bacon, but I find it to be more satisfying and filling. Sometimes they'll be out of that feta wrap and I have to get the reduced turkey bacon. I just don't find that it keeps me as full and satisfied as the feta wrap. So I prefer to spend the extra points and get the feta wrap and it's delicious. If you're vegan or vegetarian, it is completely vegetarian and vegan, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I know it's vegetarian. So I'm gonna have that for breakfast. I'm actually about to head into Walmart to do this week's grocery shopping, which you would have already seen that haul before this video. And then I'm heading Heading home and I need to clean my house. It's been over a week. I wanted to get all the bathroom done, the contractor to be completely done and gone before I start cleaning and he'll be wrapping everything up this morning and out of there. So it's clean house day. It's work on the computer day. So I'm going to head in, do my grocery shopping. So for lunch today, it's about 11 o'clock. I'm having, of course, my meal prep, my chicken and orzo. This is so good and so filling. This is water number one for today. So I have a long way to go, but I will finish my gallon. So I'm just going to have this for lunch. I'm not super hungry. I didn't even have a morning snack after I had my feta wrap and coffee this morning. So this is lunch. I most likely will have a snack later in the day today. So of course, I'll be back to share that with you, but I'm busy cleaning my house. And before I start the bathrooms, I'm gonna eat some lunch. Welcome to my cupboard. I put you in my cupboard because I just filled up my water as you saw and I just ate lunch. So I'm going to take my Thrive Probiotic. A few of you have asked for an update on these. I'm loving them. You guys, these are amazing. Highly recommend the gut health test from Thrive. It's very simple to do. You send in a sample, they send you back your results, they personalize your probiotic and then you can order it in a one month or three month supply. This is what they look like. They're a soft gel pill, not a hard Hard one so they're very very easy to take and I just take them once a day either with breakfast or lunch just kind of whatever I end up doing so drive will be down below for you guys so that you can take advantage of getting your gut health checked Look at these two. He couldn't be happier out there. And she is on high alert, tail pointed in the air, ears up, and there's nothing going on. They're just so cute. All right, afternoon snack time. I'm having a Good Culture Cottage Cheese Cup. Scored these at Costco. Nine bucks for 12 of these, which is amazing. So this is the full fat for four points. And then I have half of a serving or half of an ounce of these Nubu Nut Butter Bites, the cashew that I found at Walmart. Oh my gosh, you guys, these taste like peanut brittle. They're so, so good. And you can have half of a serving for three smart points. So my afternoon snack is seven points and I have just a tiny bit of water left in my gallon jug, so I'll definitely finish up my water for today. 3.40 p.m., and I am on my final glass of water, gallon of water for today, done. Lemons in the water, and then I'm going to fill it up for tomorrow. That way my water is ready to go and in the fridge.
tonight's dinner. I made that bacon mac and cheese. I'll make sure that recipe gets up on my website so that you can print it and recreate it because who doesn't love bacon mac and cheese? It makes eight servings total. So it is a lot of mac and cheese and it is eight smart points. And this is using the fiber gourmet pasta on the blue plan. And then I have some of those organic mixed veggies. I added a little bit of pepper, salt, and parsley. So this is my eight smart point dinner. Tonight for dessert, I'm gonna have a serving of the Enlightened New Caramel Fudge Pretzel. This is a brand new flavor with Enlightened. It is 100 calories per serving or 400 calories for the entire pint. You can find this at your local stores here in the next couple of months, but if you want to get your hands on it right away, you can order it from Enlightened on their website. I'll link it down below for you guys, but this is going to be dessert. morning guys happy friday i am in the parking lot of jazzercise i'm going to work out first thing this morning i'm going to the eight o'clock class i have not eaten anything today i did have my normal coffee for one smart point with the vital proteins collagen in the coffee i think my plan is after i get done at jazzercise i may run to starbucks again and get that feta wrap and another coffee because i actually have floor time in my real estate office today from 11 to 2. so i don't know what i'll do between 9 and 11. i may just go in and work but i think we'll pick up some breakfast after after we do our workout. So I'm actually gonna relax in my car for a few minutes, watch a little bit of YouTube. Before I head into Jazzercise, I'll take my pre-workout and grab my weights and go in and get my exercise in for today. It's another beautiful sunrise. Last time I showed you the sunset. It's beautiful again this morning. This is my view from the Jazzercise parking lot. I decided to go ahead and mix my pre-workout and a lemon popped in. So that is just fine. I'm going to shake this up. This is my little shaker bottle that came in my Miss Muscle box. Drink my pre-workout, refill this with water, grab my weights, grab my mat, and into Jazzercise. One hour later. All right, I'm out of jazzercise. I am a hot, sweaty mess. I'm still out of breath. I am actually going to take my BCAAs. I'll show those to you guys. It's really, really great for muscle recovery, joint recovery, and then we'll head over to Starbucks to get some breakfast and another coffee because I could use another coffee. So these are the BCAAs that I take. This is the Beyond Raw. This one is the Strawberry Banana. I really like this one, but I would say that my favorite favorite is the Mango. So I just add one scoop of this to some water, drink it immediately after my workout. And again, it's so great for muscle recovery. And I'm still sore from Tuesday's class. So I definitely, definitely need a scoop of this today. I'll link this down below for you guys. I just buy this on Amazon. It's another great perk of working out. I have drank almost half of my gallon of water and it's nine o'clock in the morning because of pre-workout, post-workout, during the workout. So it's a great way to get in your water. Yes, can I please get the feta wrap? Spinach feta wrap, yeah. Yes, and also the honey almond milk nitro cold brew. Yeah, uh, tall or grande? A grande, please. Okay. And that's everything. All right, it'll be 9.69 at the window. Thank you. As you can see, I'm at the office working away. I literally look like I move in here. Look at all my stuff. But anyways, I am sipping on a kombucha this morning since I had a late breakfast. This is really all I'm gonna have before lunch. So I count this, as you know, as one smart point. So I was working away and realized I didn't show you guys my lunch, but it's nothing spectacular. It is my last meal prep of the chicken orzo pasta. And then the Ourobora Basil Berry Water. Oh, I'm obsessed. This is my favorite flavor. This and the Peppermint Watermelon. Well, I love all the Ourobora Waters, but oh, love, love, love. So I have that, my pasta, and then I'm drinking some more water. I did bring a Built Bar for a snack, so I'll be back a little bit later when I do have my afternoon snack. All right, afternoon snack time. I'm still working away on getting some recipes together for my meal plan for February. So I'm gonna have my Built Bar. Don't forget I have Built Bar linked down below with 10% off and free shipping, lifetime code. You can use it over and over again. So I'm pretty excited. 
I'm hungry today. It must be from my workout. Is it your birthday today, buddy? Yeah, it's your birthday. You're nine. You're nine years old today, bud. I love these treats from Costco. And since it's your ninth birthday, you get a treat. And you too, honey. Happy birthday, bud. Buddy, you're nine. I can't even believe it. I just got home from the office and had a couple of packages. My Miss Muscle Box is here. And then I bit the bullet and decided to subscribe to BoxyCharm. Like I told you guys, I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials. And this seems to be the best makeup subscription service. So I decided to go ahead and sub subscribe. Let's see what we got in my first box. And first, let's dig into Miss Muscle Box. I, just so you know, paid for both of these with my own money. These are not sponsored. They did not send them to me. I bought them. So I get Miss Muscle Box every single month because I love it. So let's see what came in this month's box. All right, let's take a look here. You guys know that every month it does come with a complete 30-day workout. I generally don't use it just because I go to Jazzercise. And then it also has a postcard where it shows you what items you got in your box. So it looks like we're getting some shorts, which I'm pretty excited about that. And then some organic hand cream, definitely excited about that. And they always give you some snacks. So this immediately caught my eye. I love the skinny dipped almonds and they have really good ingredients. So this is the dark chocolate cocoa and the dark chocolate peanut butter. So I already know that I'm going to love both of these. The whole package is 240 calories. I will put points here on the screen for you guys. You can always eat less if you wanna lower the points. And then it looks like we also got a no cow protein bar. Now I will tell you that I've tried the no cow bars before and did not like them. Now I've never had this particular flavor, lemon meringue pie, so I'll definitely give it a try. But in the past, I haven't been a big fan of the bars. I find them to be really sandy, but like I said, We'll give it a shot. Here is that W and E organic hand cream. It's winter here, so this could not have come at a better time. It says made with organic ingredients. That's the absorbing hand cream that gives you beautiful, instantly soft, supple skin without the greasy afterfeel. So I'm excited for this. I love any type of skincare, and I'm always on the hunt for a good hand cream. And then every month you get a piece of active wear. So we got some shorts. So these are the Glide short for women. They have this cute little logo on the side. They're a very thin material, kind of like a windbreaker type of material. They'd be great for working out. I think I might even wear them to bed or around the house. Looks like they have some zipper pockets here. So I'm pretty excited about these. The price of the hand cream, if you were to buy it separately, is $20 four dollars and the price of the shorts is 36. now i pay 29.99 a month for the entire box and that always includes the active wear snacks and some sort of other like self-care product so yeah i love my miss muscle box you guys saw this morning i used the shaker bottle from a previous box so i'll link it down below for you guys it's one of my favorite subscriptions that i gladly pay for every month now for boxy charm okay so i got the basic box there's a fancier box that you can order that costs more money but i think that it has more products but since i'd never ordered the boxy charm before i decided to go ahead and just get the basic box all right i'm already excited this is the violet boss all of you forever eyeshadow palette i gotta break into this and see what the colors are i'm guessing olive green which speaks right to my heart look at these colors okay i am so excited about this eyeshadow palette if i remember right i think the box was 25 dollars. so the fact that you get an entire palette I'm excited. It looks like we also have something from Iconic London. This is the Blaze Chaser Face Palette. So it looks like there's some bronzer, some highlighters, some blush. I'm also really excited about this because I'm always on the lookout for some new highlighters, bronzers, and blush. And this box is packed full, holy smokes. All right, next up, the Avant Micellar Water. I haven't used micellar water in a minute, so that is a great thing to have in this box. Apparently someone's outside. The dogs are pretty excited. Next up is the Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. Another thing I definitely need in the winter is something for my lips because they always are dry and cracked. Super excited for that. Next is the Dragon Duo Liquid Eyeliner. There's both a pencil liner and a liquid, so that is awesome. And last but certainly not least is Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. So Pharmacy is a nice clean brand that's generally really expensive. So that is awesome that we got the moisturizer in the packet. On the little card that came in the box, it tells you the value. So that palette is $34. 
The Pharmacy is $38. The Avant Ultra High Micellar Water is $90. Holy moly. The Seraphine Botanicals Lip Mask is $25. And the Quen Studio Dragon Duo liners are $28. And like I said, I think this box was $30 for everything. So far, I'm impressed. I love that everything is full size. That's why I went with this box, BoxyCharm, instead of the Ipsy because I wanted full size product. So, so far I'm impressed. I'll link BoxyCharm down below. I just went on their website and ordered. So I'll hop over there, see if they have any specials and I'll link it down below for you. For my dinner tonight, I'm having the leftover meatballs from earlier in the week. That way we can eat up all of our leftovers. So this is going to be four points. I'm saving my points for dessert. I'm going to have some enlightened ice cream. Diesel's birthday dinner. Troy cooked him up a steak. Oh, everybody, it's everybody's birthday today. Everyone's birthday. Get it, bud? Yay. Lola gets it too. So we'll go ahead and give him the whole plate of steak here and Diesel will celebrate his birthday in style. It's another dessert, it's another night of Enlightened. I'm going to actually have two servings of the chocolate chip cookie dough for 200 calories and seven smart points, and that will round out my day. On the next screen, you'll see points, calories, and grams of protein. So that's the end of my day today. Happy Friday, that's the end of this what I eat, eat in a week points versus calories. As you saw throughout the week, it fluctuated day to day. I don't think there was a single day that I ate all my points or all my calories. And I just wanna clarify that this doesn't happen all the time. In fact, it's very rare. Normally I eat more points than I'm allowed in order to reach my calories. But this week I just filled up on really low calorie nutrient dense foods. So I just wasn't really hungry for all those extra points or calories. If you watched my weigh in video this morning, you saw that I lost 0.8 pounds this week. So it was overall a success. I do wanna remind you when it comes to points versus calories, the best way to stay within your points but also reach your calorie goal is to really, really focus on those zero point foods. Just because they are zero points but they still have calories, they will help you reach your calorie goal and stay within your points. Not to mention, they lend to choosing high quality, healthy whole food as well. So hopefully this helps give a little bit of insight into points versus calories. I'll link the entire playlist down below. I've done a couple of these videos as far as what I eat in a week, as well as tons and tons of points versus calories videos. So I'll leave those down below for you guys. Don't forget if you haven't already to make sure that you have me do your macros and your calories so that you know where you should fall so that you can make sure that you're eating enough during the day. That is what is so, so incredible important is don't go into such a severe calorie deficit that it damages your metabolism because it's going to be a long long road ahead of you once you lose the weight or even to lose the weight if that happens so check out the nutrition coaching down below for the macros calories and one-on-one -on -one sessions don't forget about the calendar and everything i shared this week as far as product and exciting things is also in that description box and my facebook group of course we'd love to have you come over and join us there so if you enjoyed this video give it a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're you're new or you're not yet subscribed to go ahead and hit that subscribe button I'd love to have you join my community don't forget about the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me for this pretty long video and I'll see you all next time bye